Good evening. Detectives are about to recreate the moments before a teenager was raped in Jersey. They're hoping a film of the reconstruction will encourage key witnesses to come forward. The victim was attacked a week ago near Gory Common. Tonight, a police officer wearing similar clothes will retrace her steps. Detectives are still checking CCTV footage from the area and they're appealing for one specific driver to come forward. Well, Sasha Shipway is live at Gory, near where the attack happened. Sasha, what's the latest? Well, police have been able to narrow down a 13-minute window when they believe the teenager was raped. She left her friend's house at 11.30 last Halloween night. She walked out from Gory Village across Gory Common to the bus stop and her phone died at midnight and her mother is known to have picked her up at 13 minutes past midnight. So police say that in all probability this is when the rape occurred. Now in 90 minutes time police are conducting a reconstruction of the attack and I've heard that the victim that night was wearing a very distinctive coat so police are really hoping that the footage of the reconstruction which will be shared across social media and all the island's media will jog the memory of locals who could have seen anything that might lead them, give them any further leads in this investigation. The victim is played by one of our female officers and she'll be wearing similar clothing and it's just to keep it in the public eye. We know that there were still a lot of people out and about last Thursday, Halloween, who haven't yet made contact with us. It's really important that we hear from those individuals. Um, we, need, we need to el eliminate them because we've got other witnesses saying that they've seen people who are yet unidentified, so it's really important that we trace those people. As you can see there, police are very keen to speak to members of the public. They know that 65 vehicles passed through in the critical hour between 11.30 and 12.30, and they have footage of what they believe to be is the victim at 11:53 p.m. and six minutes past midnight and today police have identified a car which they believe could have some crucial information it's a small silver gray hatchback which is seen leaving gory pier at one minute past midnight and they believe that if the driver carried along the coast road they will have passed the scene at the critical time when the attack was happening so the driver or passengers could have some very important information 24 staff, including an officer from the Devon and Cornwall Police, are taking part in this investigation termed Operation Hector. And they're still looking for a man who fits the description of being 5 foot 9, 40 to 50 years old, with brown hair, a short brown or grey beard, wearing a large coat described as being too big for him, and a black baseball cap, as well as speaking with a foreign accent. Now, a poster of this information has been posted around the island, and the victim is still receiving help from the trauma of this attack and police are really hoping that this reconstruction tonight will help them find that last piece in the puzzle which could help them find this rapist. Okay, Sasha Shipway, thanks for the update.